Hello again, everyone. This is Collocations Part 15. This is the 15th video in my collocation series, and like the others, I'll present five commonly used collocations to you numbered 71 to 75. But first, I'll give you the opportunity to guess the appropriate word or words to complete each one. Then, I'll give you the answers to each one and provide additional examples for each collocation. I also recommend that you pause the video at each question in order to give yourself some extra time to think of the answers. So, are you ready once again? Okay, let's go. Number 71. And the answer here is B, flowing. The collocation is keep something flowing. In this case, it's the conversation. The example is, Brian loves cars. So I was able to keep our conversation flowing by telling him all about the cars I had owned when I was younger. All right, so to keep something flowing, in this case, keep the conversation flowing in the example, it means to have it continue. All right, something that, let's say, moves along. Think about it like water. If water is flowing, it's moving. It's the same thing here. To keep something flowing, in this case, it was the conversation. Here's another example. Profits from the natural resources of the small country keep flowing out of it monthly. All right, so something is continuing to flow, in this case, move, and they're talking about natural resources. The profits from these the sale of these natural resources continue to flow, continue to move. That's what this collocation is all about. It's written a little bit differently here, but it's the same idea. All right, here's number 72. And the answer here is C, drawing. Drawing to a close is our collocation. And the example is, as the party was drawing to a close, Everyone began to dance much more than when they had first arrived. Okay, so if something is drawing to a close, it means it is finishing, or we can even say that it is ending, or it's about to end. That's what drawing to a close means. And in the example, the party was about to end, and then all of a sudden, everyone wanted to dance. All right. So, Drawing to a close, it means something is about to end or to finish, all right? Here's another example. After a violent typhoon season this year, I was very happy to see it drawing to a close, all right? In this case, the person is happy that this typhoon season that they had is finishing or it's about to end. It is drawing to a close. Got it? All right, here's number 73. And the answer here is on, this is C, to be on good terms. And in our example, I've always been on good terms with our neighbors. All right, so if you're on good terms with someone or people, then you are friendly with them or you're getting along well, you could even say that you work well together if you're on good terms, all right? And that's what the person was talking about in our example about the neighbors that he or she had. They've always been friendly, all right? Here's another example. The two countries have been on good terms ever since they were allies during World War II, all right? Same kind of a situation here with being friendly. That's what it means to be on good terms. In this case, it's the two countries. They are friendly and they're working together and they're on good terms. Now, you can be on bad terms also, which is the opposite of this. Okay, if the, let's say you're enemies, right? You would be on bad terms, all right? But this is used quite often. All right, here's number 74. And the answer here is A, swallow. To swallow her pride or to swallow one's pride is the collocation. 
in our example, she was forced to swallow her pride and ask if she could have her old job back. Now, if you swallow your pride, you're doing something against your will, and it probably makes you feel embarrassed or ashamed. All right, and in our example, you can kind of see this. She, maybe she needed a job, it looks like, or she got fired from her job, and she had to ask her boss for her job back. Okay, so maybe she didn't want her old job back, right? But she had to swallow her pride. Here's another example. I had to swallow my pride and ask my best friend for a loan. All right, in this case, the person's probably embarrassed to ask his friend or her friend for a loan. All right, so the person had to swallow their pride, okay? They had to do it even though they were embarrassed. All right, now for our final collocation, number 75. And the answer here is C, sick, to be worried sick. And our example is Joan's mother was worried sick about her daughter because she failed to come home after the party last night. All right, if you're worried sick about something, you're extremely worried. You're very fearful of something. Usually it's you're worried about something and you could literally get sick because you're worrying so much about something. All right, that's where this comes from. You're emphasizing how worried you are. Here's another example. Kim is worried sick about losing her job because her new boss doesn't like her very much. All right, so we have another situation where the person is very worried. In this case, Kim is worried about losing her job because her new boss doesn't like her. And like in our last example, the woman was worried about her daughter. Okay, that's what it means to be extremely worried about something, to be worried sick. Got it? That's all for this video. Thanks again for subscribing and please like and share this video if you get a chance. And remember what I always say, keep practicing. See you next time.